Morning, teachers. Morning. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, po, ma'am. Good morning, po. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, po. Morning. Morning, po. On your videos, eh, if your internet connection can sustain it just for a while, thank you. Again, good morning, teachers. May, let's have first the system check before we pray. May I ask if you can hear me clearly? Can you hear me? Okay. Then yes, two. Okay, thank you. How about my the screen I'm sharing? Do you see this uh, classroom-like screen? Can you give me like, react for that? Okay, wow. Okay, thank you, thank you for that. Okay, now let's pray before we have our class picture. May I ask Daisy to lead us in prayer? Thank you. Give me a mute. Um, let us all bow, bow our heads in silence and feel the presence of our Lord. Lord, we thank you for this day. Um, we hope that this day will... will we hope that this day will be productive. We hope that we learn a bunch of things. And we hope that you guide us through this day. We hope we, all, we are all so, so sorry for the sins that we have committed. And please, please do not, please guide us and please help us through this day. Sorry, let's all, ma'am. Thank you. Amen. In Jesus' word. name. Amen. Okay, thank you, Sir JC, for that wonderful prayer. By the way, I, I will send the link in the chat for our streaming link. So in case you're, what you got disconnected, you may go to the YouTube link. However, later we'll have group activity, so I hope you, you can stay here. Okay, just in case you, you'll be disconnected, there is a YouTube link there. It's unlisted, so you may go there. It's the live streaming of this class okay so now may i ask again for you to turn on your video so we can take our you know usual class picture okay i will count in three seconds okay ready so we have two panels here okay ready one two three smile second panel keep smiling okay one two three smile Okay, thank you for that one. Why is there a laughing reaction, Sir John? <laughs> okay, you may now turn off your video if what you're not connected to Wi Fi, that's fine. Okay, how about you? Aside from the system check, I need to check as well. How are you feeling today? That's why we have this question right here. Can you type in the chat again one word feeling? today especially after the academic break did you appreciate the academic break or it's still the same because you had a lot of what assessment activities to answer oh okay well, we pray for healing for you sir ram because you feel sick someone feels tired okay exhausted i think yeah like every day right it's not hungry okay <laughs> someone privately sent hungry i hope you have your at least a biscuit there or a bread beside you you can also have your water beside you okay happy wow thank you for that you feel happy you feel fine but the others okay feeling sleepy yeah that's understandable it's too early okay hungry as well okay How about the others sleepy too okay so yeah I, I hope i suggest as well huh that we take a bath so at least that's the very least we can contribute to our what energy to our system okay you feel fine mm -hmm, that's great to hear okay you feel fine so i think that will that will do okay thank you for sharing what you feel at least right now right we can adjust right slowly as we start our week okay so let's start with our recall okay let's have a recall who can tell us or at least share with the class like the things you learned last meeting anyone um mom sorry can you give me number one to five so i can call our classmate you can just raise a finger from one to five four thank you 
one, two, three, four. Precious, are you there? Precious, okay, you may. Good morning, po, ma'am. Morning. Can you share with us or would you share with us the things you learned last meeting, or at least the what the experience of the process, right, of the assessment activity? Um, yung pong ginawa ko about po dun sa PPST, yung Philippine Professional Teacher Standard Evaluation po, yung assessment is, um, dahil po pre-service teacher on the process po na uh, natututo, nagiging ng knowledge and skills kung paano maging teacher, uh, yung nilagay ko po dun sa assessment is, Yung mga past experience ko po nung junior high school tsaka senior high school, which is, uh, ikinunik ko po yung mga, um, like for example po yung, mang, yung dun po sa PPST na community engagement, uh, nilagay ko po dun yung experience ko as uh, Girl Scout and pagtulong po sa community, tree planting, uh, paglilinis po, and then yung pagtuturo po sa mga bata, yung mga street children, dito po sa amin. Yun po. Great. That's right. Your age, you don't realize that you already what accomplish those things and that will actually, or those activities can actually contribute to your professional growth as a teacher. Thank you, Ma'am Precious. Another one to share? Give me a number, Ma'am Precious. One to five. Three, four. Three, two, one, two, three. Uh, Sir Godwin, are you there? You may unmute. Good morning, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Morning. Uh, would you like to share um, with us? Yes. Um, can I just read um, my answer, ma'am? Sure, it's okay. Yeah. I will I'm searching my document first, ma'am. It's okay. By the way, Sir Eugene, I think you, you sent a message about your connection. You may go to the YouTube for the discussion and then just come back for the group activity later, okay? Thank you. Okay, so just like what, ma'am, while you are searching for your document, let me reiterate again, even, right, your community engagement, that's part, right? Just for instance, you took the initiative to have your own drive fundraising that's that's also part okay anything you do in your life that you think can contribute to the community to what even to what to your fellow youth for instance that is part okay of your professional growth okay so there's yep. also the, okay you're ready um i just want to i just have to read um some domains, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Okay. And my rating for it. Um, in domain one, content, knowledge, and pedagogy, I would be quite honest that as of the moment, I am not having an enough ability to mm -hmm. possess some of those seven strands, particularly to the specific strategies. Mm -hmm. Um, I give a one point seven in this domain, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the content. Mm -hmm. And in the second domain, ma'am, that focuses on the learning environment. Uh, I'm glad that I would give a higher grade for myself, which is 2.0. Having a ministry in our church that values children's welfare can be an edge for me as a pre-service teacher. Most trends of this domain may sound new to me, but I am aware that we have been practicing this for some time. And it would be great if I would experience and practice this domain to my future students. Okay. Wow, that's good news, right? So even your community, I mean, church engagement right your ministry that is part and thank you right for assessing yourself as honest right as as possible especially well you are part of that what church family okay thank you sir godwin so yeah majority say that they are still beginning teachers even though you already been but you have been part of these organizations right that you belong to so thank you for sharing okay now thank you ma'am Okay, thank you. Let's proceed to this activity. I would like you to maximize the chat section there. Okay, 
and I assume you're familiar with the word search, right? Puzzle or game. Can you type in the chat words that you can find in the crossword puzzle or the word search puzzle? Okay, I will read your answer here. Anyone? There's, okay, there's wire. There's wire. Bike, okay. Oh, there's even rape word. Yeah, here, okay. Walk, turn, okay. Ah, yeah, that's rappel, okay. <laughs> Work, okay. What else? Okay, for the others. Rush. What else? There are so many. I think from A to W, we have the words there. Mm -hmm. There is. Drink. Okay, there's drink. What else? Mm -hmm. Turn. Okay. There's turn. How about the others? Wash. Okay, great. There's wash there. Mm hmm. There's what? Okay. What else? Push. Okay, there's push. Give. Okay, there's give. There's bake as well, correct? What else? Sand, correct. Wash is there. C, okay, correct. There's C. Answer, correct. Bike, given. Let's see, meat. Okay, you got that right as well. Okay. <laughs> There's Oreo, okay. Work. <laughs> there is work. Okay. Mm -hmm. But the others, there's still many. So you got bake, mm -hmm. you have drink. Okay. What else? Mm -hmm. How about from letter B? You still have three more. Sit. For S, we have sit. Okay, you got sit, C, okay, you got sand, brush, correct. There's brush. Okay, one more for that. I think we got that earlier. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's that? Peel. Okay. There's peel, or there's also pull. What else? Or pull. So, okay. We got, we already got C. About for W. Where does it start with W? You already got walk, wash. Watch, okay, correct. There's watch. Cook, there's cook for C, correct. Work is there as well. Mm -hmm. Sell, you got it. Sell, C, send. Worry, correct. You got that. What else? Mm -hmm. There is ride instead of rice, but you see that rice, okay. Receive. Correct, you got receive. You have more for letter R. Mm -hmm. Run, okay, correct, run. Receive, oops, okay. Give, okay, there's give, yeah. There's one more for G. Rush is given, I think. Okay, do you see there the word brush as well? Mm -hmm. 
greet. Okay, greet. Correct. So we have give and greet. I think that's paper for the paper. Rest. Correct. Mm -hmm. Brush. Okay, we found it. Chores. Correct. Chores. Okay. Late. Mm -hmm. It's more of listen and load for L. Okay. This is play. Okay, play is there. There's pull as well and push and pour. Okay, play, play. We got it. More for C. Okay, that's newspaper for the paper. It's more of walk, wash, watch, work, worry, and write for W. How about for T? Okay, there's school, correct. Okay, we have call, car, cat, chores, cook for C. How about for D? Can you find words that start with letter D? Take. Okay, there's take for T. Taste, tie, turn. Correct. Stand. Okay, correct. We have stand. So, see, sell, send, seat. Okay, sleep. There's sleep as well. Stand. Okay, correct. Is there a tip? Okay, that's tie. Correct. Mm -hmm. We have take, taste, tie, turn for T. Right. That's also part, we have walk, wash, watch, work, worry, right, poor. Okay, you got it too. We also have drink and dress for D. Okay, you got it. The dog. Dog is there as well. You have cat as well. You have here for H. What else? For M. How about for M? We have three for M. Make, correct. Me, very good. Okay. Last one for M. Okay, there is. Mail, exactly. Okay, you got it. How about for P? You already got poor, pull, you got push, and play. Okay. Wow. Okay, thank you so much for your participation. May I ask someone, okay, to at least analyze this activity? What do you think? Yeah, what's your reaction in this activity? There's press or about the words that you found. Anyone? How about Mam Sarina? You may unmute. What have you done? Hello, Hello. Good morning, ma'am. So, based po, po dun sa mga words po na nag-guess po, mm -hmm. may right po, may pull, may push. So, parang magkakaroon po tayo ng activity po na ano po, kung saan gagawin po yung mga yun. Or, uh, yung lecture po is, yung mga words po na yun ay one of the ano po, Mga keywords po. Ganun. Oh, you're so witty. Okay, you got it. Thank you. Mom, sir. Yeah, the keywords, the verbs there. Okay, how about someone raise a hand? I think it's Sir Godwin. Um, I noticed, ma'am, that the words that we, we, we have found earlier are those that belongs to verb. Mm -hmm. yeah. Most of the words are verb, ma'am. Okay, correct. Most of the words are verbs. So they refer to the things that we do today and every day. Okay, thank you, Sir Godwin. So as we continue, these are the objectives that you must achieve. Okay, so you're going to relate to the 21st century learners. You will be teaching in the future, definitely. You need to know not only to do those verbs, but actually to relate them to performance standards or learning competencies. Know also the different strategies and approaches to use in the teaching and learning process to 
in collab I mean yeah in as you integrate 21st century learners as 21st century teachers it's not enough that our learners are you know exemplifying these skills of a 21st century learner but also the teacher so you will also demonstrate how to effectively apply 21st century skills both as a learner and as a teacher Okay, so to remain relevant, right, and interesting, so you must possess the 21st century skills. And this can be categorized later. We will look into four main categories. But let me show you this. It's from Teach Thought. And they also created this, like, you know, a graphic organizer showing, right, the 21st century learning. So we have here learner-centered, as you notice, right, even before... You've noticed that it's not anymore a teacher-centered. So the voices of the children are heard now. You can talk. You can even question the teacher. right? So next, we have adaptable. So the learners, as well as the teachers, definitely need to be adaptable to the situation, to the needs, especially now to our new normal setup. We need to adapt to the environment. We can, you know, use existing strategies but at the same time with modification because we are in this virtual classroom now data rich also the information that the students what receive not i mean do not only come from the teacher but also from different sources primary secondary even tertiary sources even from online library transfer transfer by design so learner here right consistently adapt Okay, you also revise. Okay, you, you definitely transfer what you learned in the actual word. That's so important. That's also the ninth what the ninth event of instruction by Robert Gagne. You have to transfer. So it's also about application of the things to learn. So personalized learning is part as well. So even your what materials, your results, right? Self directed learning. Everything is personalized now. Teachers adapt to the needs, right? Especially to what this in the interest of the learners. Media driven. So even what hypermedia is part now, you don't simply write things in the paper, but even what you listen to, audio materials, you watch, right? So that's part. All these what uh, technology uses. Also we have project problem or inquiry based now. It's more of the art of questioning diverse learners are in the classroom that need to be what accommodated not only focusing on one right one intelligence of the learner another visibly relevant so it's so obvious right that the even the activities now need to be relevant to the needs of the learners and of course to develop their skills so we have here now also from depth ed i assume you've in this right in your curriculum guide i hope you started embracing the curriculum guide may i see a heart react if you have browsed your curriculum guide also to accomplish our previous activities no one yet no one anyone heart react if you have browsed your curriculum guide and ink okay there's one that's great sir ram okay and Sir Abner, okay. So for the others, uh, please start browsing your curriculum guide for English dedicated to what grade 7 to 12, you mean, even advanced to grade 12, 11 and 12. Okay, so here you notice that we have the external circle with the engaged thinker, right? Learners need to be involved now, okay? And what entrepreneurial spirit, okay, you also... Are encouraged to be what business minded okay that's great sir Eugene you browse this Eugene. okay and ethical citizen not only in the physical world but also in the virtual world you need to be ethical so you don't what commit plagiarism for instance you gather information from the net I appreciated those who even cited okay the some research is relevant to the ppsc i read your work okay also okay as a 21st century learner yeah literacy and numeracy as you notice also we have
spiral curriculum where you start from the very basic concept of that particular topic and then you advance as you go to the next level or next grade level so these are okay the skills so collaboration and leadership you are encouraged to collaborate with your classmates even with your teacher as you would accomplish an activity or a task and thank you for your feedback and tonight i mean today sorry today we'll have our group activity and as i think i've started also doing that last week and students really appreciate that why because you miss your classmate right aside from yes you can work with them again but it's a different environment and you'll be surprised oh uh, it works right collaboration activities work in the virtual classroom so lifelong learning self-direction and personal management it's there so it's not only for the sake of what uh, benefiting yourself of these information today but also in the future definitely right that's why as as young as you are now i mean you are so a second year but these information will really help you and definitely you will encounter them again right in the future digital literacy, right make sure you're comfortable you're not anymore afraid to face the the computer right these all softwares and what applications internet Okay, critical thinking and problem solving. Creativity and innovation is more of the creating level now as we had last time under Bloom's taxonomy. So social responsibility and cultural, global, and environmental awareness. It's not enough that we only concern ourselves, right, or our immediate environment, but even outside. So as we continue, these are the 21st uh, century skills. Right, that are categorized into four so you right must possess them in order to survive in the 21st century learning environment and be able to contribute to the development of your learner so first is effective communication skills again you notice there it's not only communication skills but effective communication it includes your what being a leader in the group teaming even being part of a student organization that's part collaborating interpersonal skills should be developed as well okay why because i mean you can't be in isolation learning also is heightened if you are what talking to someone right exchanging opinions and information so local national and global orientedness that's part as well that's why in some of the assessment activities you're asked to watch this video read this article right read the new uh, i mean yeah read the online news article also your yeah, interactive communication is part so these skills enable you right to easily adapt to present and future challenges and opportunities you can't isolate yourself and not be concerned about the things that are happening to you because they are real and they are everywhere so these are parts only in parcels of the 21st century learning and they are integrated in all learning areas right you can finish i think a sam without your communication skill it may not be it may not be you know verbal talking to someone but it can be i mean verbally i mean just writing is part Right? But also even nonverbal communication, that's why it's a privilege, I think, right? An opportunity for us that we don't only talk to people through what our voice, right? But even we can show our faces and our reaction. So, okay. So next is, yeah, learning and innovation skills. So these skills include your creativity, your curiosity about the world, your critical thinking and problem solving skill. So do you question, right? It's important that you question facts or you question definitely opinion. You don't simply absorb them, but to give your own, what, explanation, your stance about uh, a certain issue. Okay, risk-taking is also part in this. Uh, do you take risks to explore other applications or you just what i mean s stick yourself to your comfort zone right so can you give me a like react if you have browsed other applications 
Okay, for example, LMS applications, gamification application. Anyone? Okay, there's one, Ma'am Chanlin. Thank you. How about the others? Okay, Sir Eugene, that's great. We shouldn't be afraid to explore. Okay, you shouldn't be afraid to click any any what hyperlink that you see on your screen. Don't be afraid. Mm -hmm. That's part, right? If it directs you to another website, well, you have to explore. Okay, that's great. Sir Jameson as well. Okay, so do not, right, be afraid to take risks. So for instance, right, even if you are advised to use a specific software to accomplish your assessment activity, right, instead of ma you feel like, oh, I don't like to use the word, ma right, recommended because that's only a suggestion unless that's a required application, right, still you are provided, right, numerous, what numbers, uh, numerous number of applications, so. Right, it requires also your acquisition of these skills. Why? Because you can help your learners resolve daily issues, not only you know personal issues, but even academic challenges. Right, even social issues. So, just recently, I attended an educators' assembly, and they really mentioned it. It's important for us teachers to, you know, communicate well. Right, not only academically but even personally to our learners. It's important. I mean, our what even it's a one liner, what statement can really create an impact, a big impact to your learners. So learning and innovation skills are honed in all subject areas and across grade levels. That's why if I may just recall you, right, or remind you last time, I told you that every time you will discuss, you will Imagine, you have to imagine that there's an imaginary bubble on top of your student's head asking you, so what, ma'am? So what, sir? Right? So what if you know all these? How are we going to apply this in all subject areas or even in the actual world? Okay? So don't be afraid to take risks. Another, life and career skills, which is the end of it, right? I mean, your season to want to earn after a season to learn so it talks about you being flexible being adaptable right because after this definitely right, it will be a new environment they say even just by attending your practice teaching right uh, course or your internship you realize that it's really a different environment if you are in front of the actual students not only in front of your classmates pretending to be your students also you need to Exemplify leadership and responsibility. You need to be accountable not only to your students, not only to yourself, but even to your fellow what teachers, to your colleagues. You need to be accountable to everyone around you. So you don't simply say uh, you, you're not accountable to the student because it's not your class hour, right? But of course, as the teacher of that student, you need to be accountable. And social and cross-cultural skills as well. Okay, that's part so you, you don't want to isolate one student as well right it's not just you who will what own the stage there but it's definitely your student to shine during your time you have to take initiative you have to give what specific direction right you need to also follow instructions not only the students following your instructions you need to be ethic we need to be ethical moral Right, and we need to exemplify what spiritual values it's part of the hidden curriculum. Don't worry, right? Even you are teaching the most technical subject or course, you will realize why am I right? Why am I integrating values here? Because it's part, it's it's what we call hidden curriculum. And you can also what empower your learners to make informed decisions. So from time to time. I experienced that even especially now, right? From time to time, you receive personal messages from your students ask, asking you, ma'am, how, how will I do this? Because I can I, I can no longer access the, the file. So can I simply? So they even suggest, you know, plan B just for them to comply. So they're fine, right? Giving them the leverage to significantly contribute to the development of their society. They need to be flexible, right? Initi take the initiative, okay? 
Another, we have information, media, and technology skills. One of the most important skills now. Okay, you need to have your visual and information literacies. You need to have a good eye, not only in discerning information, but definitely in presenting information. So may I ask if so far, I mean, from the very beginning of our discussion, right, or very first meeting, did you, what, or have you been appreciating the, the visuals? Can you give me any nonverbal feedback there? Like, I understand that that's a thank you, Mamarika. I understand that that's some, and Marvin Jameson, that at some point it can be blurred because of the connection that affects also the clarity, right? But at least it's important that you don't take the, you don't split the attention of your learner. So it's important that when you see, for instance, this, do you see my cursor? Can you use a thumbs up reaction? Okay. So, for instance, you have these keywords, right? You don't want to just simply split attention because I'm already talking and you are also analyzing the, the visuals here, right? And they definitely contribute to what the keyword. So, I mean, you can have verbose text only if they are, you know, important information and source. But if you are more to elaborate these, you can use visuals. Majority of the learners are still what visual learners. As you notice here, right, it's maximizing the applications on the net. Also being, there's no doubt, right? You are, I think, like 24, to exaggerate that 24-7 on your screen, okay? So even our basic and scientific, economic, technological literacy should be part. And even this multicultural literacy is, is part. So right now, right, I hope you are taking advantage of you, communicating to other nationalities, right, joining webinar, international webinars that you can actually create connections, right, with, but with professionals as well. Okay. You can also deal with various sub-skills. So these skills uh, allow learners to navigate the fluid and dynamic environment of their knowledge creation and acquisition. So these skills are embedded in subjects such as TLE, right? Technology and Livelihood Education, Science, Mathematics. Uh, you also have AP, Arling Panlipunan, or MAPE, Languages, which are all subjects used as platforms for integration of these skills it's just up to teachers creativity and how are you going to maximize right your your information media and technology skills into your activities students really appreciate that students appreciate dynamic right inside the classroom so these are some okay last hour uh, earlier i presented to you four right categories but here we have 16 critical 21st century skills of which our character and competency skills right are there as part of the life skills so in this case they have creativity curiosity problem solving critical thinking that's why you will also realize that i mean you are at least part of adult learners because you are in tertiary level and you notice that some of the your problems are actually solved by yourself even without the help of a teacher or a more knowledgeable other because that's your skill okay critical thinking communication teamwork okay is part so i hope we we veer away from the attitude of you being the leader and then you doing all the things right can you give me haha -ha react if you experience that you're the leader and you did everything anyone oh there's no one okay there's one uh sir joe ed okay right so now is the time and also sir marwin okay now is the time okay to improve that skill of what teamwork and collaboration okay take the initiative who among you appreciate appreciates yourself taking the initiative can you give me how react okay sir ram yeah right so in all aspects not only in, in what academics even in life we have to take initiative okay take the initiative to what to clean your house to but to help the neighbor to help someone in need 
take the initiative to but find answers to your own questions. Uh, it's okay, Sir Eugene. Yeah, so your reaction is that uh, okay. Right. Great is par adaptability, leadership, right? Social and cultural awareness. Are you what making yourself aware of the social issues? Can you give me like react for that? Right, especially okay. That's great, Sir Jameson. Right, especially you're already what uh, exposed to Facebook. That's only one click away of the news article, Sir Joshua as well. Right, that's great. Even if you don't like to use Facebook, you can actually you can even save or bookmark, right? I mean, news websites. You can do that. It's also easy to sort instead of what buying. But if you are into buying hard copies of newspapers as part or articles, but if you are into what the vir the virtual environment, you know, it's so easy to sort or find, right? Using keywords, you just have to what click command f or control f for that and they find on grappler they even have categories so even if you type like pup right and then education it will enumerate all articles relevant to pup and education so as we continue okay we have here a picture from the pub okay it happened in the pabatangas the our education chief uh underscores the importance of the 21st century learning and she expresses gratitude to the partner so our secretary here Leonor uh, Magtolis Briones highlighted and knew the importance of instilling 21st century competencies in learners and this happened last uh, 2018 and she expressed her gratitude to all partners who made this possible during the recent program in her speech uh, our secretary also mentioned the challenge in this fast-paced modern world. She said that the challenge for us now is to go beyond the robots and uh, the robots that we are building. And we need to build robots which will make life easier, not only for the sake of uh, gamification or other purposes. And right, you're, you've been aware that there are so many robots, not only what invented by filipinos but also what by japanese right did they also make these robots feel what people feel right but i think there still needs what further research on that because when it comes to decision making they, they are advancing on that scale as well so that will make our life easier will make our homes more livable as you notice there's a lot of advancement now especially when it comes to our home gadgets right now for instance you you don't need to buy smart tv you just need to buy a smart box definitely that can be an instant smart tv at your home can you give me uh haha -ha react if you're using that if you have bought smart tv so you can simply watch netflix on your tv on your typical tv Okay, there's one, Mom um, Janaya. Okay, so there's no need for you to buy expensive. And there's even one, I think, from... Uh, I saw Yassi's, Yassi Presman's IG. And I think she's collaborating with this company. It's sim it's, a, it's really small. It's like a, sm a small what, a remote control for what navigating. Right? There's even a mirror there that you can simply touch and play your Spotify playlist. Imagine the advancement now. Everything is hologram. There's also one. Uh, I've seen also the, the Instagram post of, I think it's Kim Kardashian. And she received a birthday gift from, from her husband. And it's a hologram of, his, of her late father. So... The, the the father was already dead but he feels real there and there's there's also a, what a birthday message from the person imagine to some they commented it's somehow it's it is somehow creepy right because the person is already dead and he's there in front of you in a hologram effect so well to to the family they even got but teary eyed because of yeah how how possible it is now right to feel that the person is in front of you even though he's not anymore there okay so one of the highlights of this event 
was the gra- inauguration of country's pilot 21st century learning environment model. It's called CLEM. Okay, it's a classroom which aims to support DepEd's K-12 curriculum through a modern app which creates learning practices, human support, and physical environment to facilitate the development of the 21st century skills of both teachers and learners. And this project is implemented by DOST or Department of Science and Technology and other schools in Batanga is currently equipped with 21st uh, CLEM classroom. Okay, they are you know, public schools and each school has received 26 laptops and what more now, right? This two years ago. So one interactive projector and smart board, one 3D printer, one wireless what printer as well, one smart television. I think majority of the public schools room now, right? We have smart television, but as of the moment we can utilize them. I hope they're taking care of the equipment. And they even have one visualizer, document camera, wireless connectivity. If you can remember, if I'm not mistaken, you watch Teachers Need Real Feedback last time, the, the TED Talk. And it's important that there's also document camera there. Okay, People Connect is also their what, flagship project. It's a pu- free public Wi-Fi. Okay, it's a project of DICT or Department of Information and Communications Technology. It was also held in the same event in Batangas. And the People Connect provides free internet connectivity in public places all across the Philippines. I assume you heard that as well. However, you know that the internet connection is not that reliable, even though it's free public internet access. Okay, and it's mandated by Republic Act 10929, which aims to cover all public places in the country with free public internet service. But even right, private but pri- or our home internet services are not even reliable. So what more? The public. So I hope right right now we are we are what advancing. We hope for that. But even recently, there's a down. Right, I think that happened with converge there's a lot of what facebook posts i've seen that converge had this i think it's nationwide or at least a city-wide uh, down system okay so brion is also further underscore the viral of other governments and ngos and the community in providing a quality accessible relevant and liberating basic education she concluded by saying ang edukasyon ay hindi lamang pananagutan ng DepEd. Ito ay pananagutan ng lahat ng Pilipino, ng lahat ng departamento at ng community. Kasi kung wala ang kanilang tulong, ay hindi matutupad ang pangako natin para sa edukasyon. Yeah, it's but uh, it should be a collaborative effort of all the stakeholders, not only the DepEd agency. But of course, since they are the center, right, all the clamors, the complaints, concerns are addressed to them. And, well, we really need to help Okay, our educational system. Also, right, present at the event, they have from Undersecretary DICT, DOST, right, the Vice Mayor also. Imagine these are all stakeholders that need to be part in this kind of event. As we continue, 21st century learning methods made available or made available nationwide. So Philippine schools in the regions are now given access to the 21st century learning methods with the help of the Global Filipino School or GFS program. So with the partnership of DepEd and Globe Telecom, it's Globe, okay, it's expanding the program to 15 regions nationwide, just two regions short of a full coverage of the 70 regions in the country. So at, and at the end of the 20 of 2017 a total of 142 schools so if we can what imagine like now maybe they've added to that number right they have been covered by the program's long-term and modern approach to education globe said this okay so the globe senior vice president for corporate communications yoli Crisanto said that education is one area where GLOBE continues to focus its strength and capabilities in order to help 
build a more digitally savvy generation of both teachers and learners. And soon enough, more teachers and learners will benefit from Globe Telecom's advocacy of a digital-centric lifestyle. Imagine, look at this term, digital-centric lifestyle. And it's so evident now, right? Everything we do now, what are, you know, connected or interconnected to what digital devices, digital software and all for everyone, which we believe is a catalyst for growth and nation building. Well, it needs our what? Netiquette, right? As we maximize our digital centric lifestyle. So to assess it's a, a success upon its implementation. There is a study that was released by Taylor Nelson Software in 2015 and it showed that you know the GFS program helped improve digital skills among teachers and students, especially right, on to usage of mobile technology and computer software. Even when you need to pay, you need to save, all these have what designated a mobile application. So these, I mean, the, yeah, this program also enabled 21st century learning outcomes that involve creativity, communication, collaboration, and creativity. And it increased student engagement in classroom activities and helped enhance school culture through readiness and ICT integration. So I hope you appreciated your computer course before, right? Or basic or your gen ed course relevant to ICT. Who among you? I mean, experience of four years or yeah, six years in high school exposed to computers can you give me wow react for that okay sir jameson you are so blessed okay wow okay christian joshua okay that is great in my case okay we we i haven't experienced i i didn't sorry i didn't experience that when i was in high school i think it was the time that we graduated after that year Right. Upon graduation, that's the only time they had, I mean, our school, our public school had that computer course or computer room. So I first touched the computer. It's still a cathode ray tube style of what monitor and yellowish keyboard. I was in grade five when I first touched that. But now as early as what, one year old, they can touch, right? Uh, applications mobile technologies okay so it's really what a big advancement now okay so these right activities or classroom activities can help enhance school culture through readiness of ICT integration okay and there is also an article that I found on DepEd it was published last year February 23 2019 and the title here says, Education Chief highlights the importance of 21st century skills in the Philippine education system during the third EduTech forum. So EduTech is an organization. If you have attended also their webinars in the past months, they address all the needs. They even have so many what partners, tech partners that can assist you. For instance, you are a school, a private school, and you like to purchase, right? Not all, because not all LMS, right? Not all, um, yeah, learning management systems are free of charge, okay? Majority of them, they, they need to be purchased by a university. In our case, we have the Microsoft, right? Teams, Microsoft account, okay? For others, for DepA, they have the Google, right? G Suite, they have those. Well, in this uh, event, Okay, our secretary underscored the importance of instilling 21st century skills among all learners during this event or during this conference and exhibition. In her uh, keynote speech, she explained the key deliverables of the department with emphasis on making education relevant to the urgent needs of and opportunities for the nation. And this is in line with the event's theme, 21st century quality education for all in the field. And she stated that while we teach and encourage our learners to learn from school has to be relevant to the 21st century, to our needs, and has to be responsive 
to the challenges that our country faces at this time. So it's not that we we receive, but we also need what to respond. We need to be responsive to the needs of our environment. So she further explained that there is something new and exciting happening in and outside the Philippines every day, and we agree, right? To which the basic education system has to respond. Just what from the issues of the module, right? Uh, may I ask if you have received your module? I assume not yet. Can you give me like react for that? If you are part of the corresponding team and you haven't received it, do we have one here? Okay, there's one. So, uh, you, you haven't received it, Ma'am Karen. Right. So, just be patient. I understand. That's why, right? You are welcome here. Okay. I think I've said that so many times, but yeah, it, I hope that you will not be anxious about being late but because you're here and for those who are who you aren't right i hope they're they've uploaded the soft copy of the i okay so right so thus right it has resulted in massive outputs like the provision of school buildings with improved design and facilities that's why we have computer rooms laboratories and the setting up of 21st century classrooms with various innovative features and Equipment, not only the smart TV, the projector, the laptop there, but even what uh, we also have interactive whiteboard or keyboard. And the secretary also noted that the, the Department of Education recognizes and supports the digital rights in the Philippine education system. That we ought to, right? We ought to recognize this. And to share that as early as 2010, the department already started efforts in raising the ICT or Right, literacy of the learners, teachers, school heads, and other personnel through the depth computerization program. Teachers undergo trainings, webinars, workshops when in terms of advancing in technology use. And in addition, right, Brianna has also emphasized that even as we focus on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, we must not forget that we are Filipinos and we have a history and multivariate culture all over the country. And this is why it's equally important, right? To focus as well on the social sciences or the so-called soft sciences, not only the hard sciences. And yeah, she believes it's possible. Yeah, we don't have to neglect one for the other. And this conference was organized by the Terrapine right, PTE and was supported by DepEd, also CHED. Right, and TESDA, and it aimed to provide the participants with insights on the latest innovations and pedagogies transforming K-12 basic education. I remember when I attended one EduTech webinar, I immediately received like invitate, I mean, you know, invitation score because you can have personal calls or consultations with Acer, with all, with I think also Huawei. Right, they are present or smart, so they will offer you. And right? even there's one I received that they offered me a list of laptops right? that definitely address the needs now. Okay, so let's have our breakout session. Okay, since you are provided different models earlier of the 21st century skills, not only for the learners but also for the teachers. Okay, you will be designing a model showing other skills right, a 21st century teacher should possess. So aside from the four major categories and also the soft skills that I provided here, you will design your own model. By, I will divide you into two groups. Okay, I divide you into two breakout sessions. So you will be directed to the breakout rooms. Okay, may I... As in the chance, I will divide you into two breakout sessions, breakout room. Okay. So we have here, wow, okay. There you are many, but you will enjoy this. Okay, you are, what, 15 and 14. 15 for room one or group one and 14 for room two and group two. So for now, I would like you to... If you are using a different device, you may go to 
Okay, you may access the QR code or go to the link. They, they are Google drawings, and I would like to inform you that real time I can, right? I can see what you're doing. I can see the process. So may I ask the group, like how long, for how many minutes do you need? Do you need thirty or forty? Can you type in the chat? Later, you will know your group members. Okay, in the chat. Okay, 40. So thank you for that. Wow, 30 will do. Let's try 40 for you to wrap up as well. And I would like you to choose a representative to explain. Right? It can be one representative or three representatives to explain the process, your design, and content. Okay? You might ask me, ma'am, can we reiterate some of you, of course, you may, but you may want to use your creativity by using other terms, okay? Other questions, you may type in the chat before I open all rooms. Yeah, 40 minutes. Let me change my setting. Okay, you will have 30 seconds countdown before you close the breaker room. But of course, it will still depend on your output. I will check it from time to time, so I will know if you need more time. We can extend, no worry. Okay. Questions, please? Before I open rooms. So you will design a model, huh? So if you like to use what bubble us and then just copy and paste it on the google drawing that's fine but i would like you to work together so all of you can do can use it can use the software synchronously right at the time you can do it together and i will also leave comments there as you continue okay i can also you can also type in the chat your concerns later i can read that okay more concern okay i will open all rooms now can you give me like react if you're ready okay thank you sir jane sir john okay chris how about the others okay so for those who are in i i hope no one's on youtube now i hope you are here so we can have 15 and 14 i'll open rooms now you may also ask for help okay and I can join you there if you have questions.
Okay, I think you're ready. I can see it work. So I think for group two, they use a different software. That's fine. I just hope that you have pasted it on the Google drawing. So let's start. May I How many representatives will you have? Group one, po, ma'am. Yeah, how many? Uh, would we you have two. Po. Okay, two. Ten. So make sure you will be graded according to the content, design, and process. So the way you, you present it. Sir Abner, will you be the one to present first? No, ma'am. Sorry, po. Naka. Okay. Not from our group. So who, who will be the first one? Let's start with group one. Can you see the screen I'm sharing? I'm already sharing your output. Yes, ma'am. We can okay. see it. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, who, who are the representatives of group one? Ako po me and uh, Sir Ram? Joshua. Me and Joshua po. Okay. Si Mama no Joshua. You may stop. Ako Ako. Okay. Boom, okay na po, ma'am. Yeah, sure. Good morning, classmates. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, classmates. Mm. So this is the work of group one po. Yan. As you can see po, there are there is a diagram mm -hmm. that possesses five skills that a 21st century teacher should have in this time po. Mm -hmm. So, as you can see, there are research skills, multitasking skills, organizational skills, time management skills, and classroom management skills. So, Ram, what is organizational skills? <laughs> so, Organizational skills is very vital to in teaching the 21st century, uh, in teaching 21st century style. So 20, 20, 21st century, century curriculum demands a lot of time, works, and effort in order to deliver an effective 21st century style of teaching. Um, since 21st century teaching style requires much more tasks, it is must. It is a must to make use of the. Oh, wait now. Sorry, sorry. You, Allah, wait now. It's okay. Allah. Ayan. So, as an organizer, you must be able to successfully deliver a twenty-first century approach. If in the first place you fail to manage your time mm -hmm. wisely and organize your priorities. Um, so, I'm sorry, nawala yung ano. So, being able to manage your time wisely and organize your priority wisely, you will be, it will serve as an explicit guide towards teaching the 21st century style. Alam, nawala ang pangit ng sulat ko. Sorry. It's okay. Ayun lang po. So, so yeah. next is, um, classroom management skills so this this skill should have this skill must possess by the teacher so that they can they can bring out the potential and the best of their of their students so first a teacher should create a dynamic and social environment wherein the students can actively participate and can actively participate and engage during discussions and lessons in the learning environment. So in this classroom management skills, um, the teachers should uh, the teachers should instill knowledge and also values to their children. The teachers should also mold and mold their behaviors, their personality that can be conforming to our society. Mm -hmm. Next is the research skills po. This is, the, this is a skill that a teacher should have or must have because in order to present a discussion or lesson, ano, you ma, ano, a teacher must know how to select or choose the most, most relevant or the most uh, the easiest, may, easiest way so that his or her students can learn from it. So... 
So, research skills refer to the ability to search for, locate, extract, organize, evaluate, and use or present information that is relevant to a particular topic. So, dito po sa research skills po, dahil po mas nagiging mas madali po yung information or yung mas nagiging mas na mas na sa site po or mas na ano po yung mga mas importante is yung po yung mas natututunan po ng mga estudyante yung mga yung mas relevant po at saka yung mas easier po na way para po matutupo sila. Okay. So next po is time management RAM. So yun time management multitasking skill sa akin. Hmm. <laughs> Go Joshua. Ako na ba? Oh. Ako <laughs> kayo. So time management skills sa 21st century teaching style, it requires nga sa curriculum yung more interactive, more progressive activities. So sa since madaming requirements, kailangan tayong maging wise in terms of managing our time. Kasi if we fail to manage it, ano, um, we won't be able to deliver that demands. So, yun lang po. Okay. And last? Multitasking. So, ako pa rin tatlo, Joshua. So, multitasking skills po. Um, in this style of teaching kasi sa 21st century, it requires teacher to have multiple roles inside and outside the classroom. Um, it, yung sinabi ko kanina, it requires much task. So, we, might, we must make use of the multitasking skills. As a teacher, we are not just a teacher inside the classroom. We are also learners because in the 21st century, um, yung mga na, there are new ideas and new knowledge na na mag so kailangan maging wise tayo na hindi lang tayo magtuturo mag-aaral pa rin tayo maging estudyante pa rin tayo so also being a multitasker promotes productivity yun lang po great how about your design so you, you have explained your content how about design why did you come up with a flower design model? So, in our design po, so as you can see po, there is like a flower-like diagram mm -hmm. that there is a, a male teacher or a teacher that is pointing the 21st century which is which revolves to the five skills that a, that a teacher should also have mm -hmm. in the 21st century. So there are also two teachers like holding the flower. Wow, okay. So, <laughs> the flower-like diagram like that represents, ano, represents the students blooming in the 21st century. Mm -hmm. Nice, okay. The students bloom by, in, by the teachers who instill knowledge, skills, and values to their students. So, when they're so, yung mga students na po ito, dahil po sa skills na ito is mm -hmm. nagbubloom po. So, may kita po natin na yung mga teachers po, hinahawakan po nila itong flower-like diagram mm -hmm. na nire-represent po yung buong students po ano, as a whole po. Mm -hmm. So, as teachers po, their task is to help the students to thrive and survive in this ever-changing world po. Thank you po. Hey, that's great. How about, before I reiterate the, the, some highlights, how about the process? How about a different member from the group who likes to discuss the process? Interacting with the software, Google Drawing, doing the breakout session, the process of consolidating because I realized like from the beginning, right, your contents included personal qualities of a teacher i think you started with passionate and prudent and then you change it to right you change them to these skills which which are great okay, anyone from group one who likes to echo the process how's the experience yes you are eugene okay sir eugene hello ma'am 
member of group. Can you hear me? Like, yeah. Yes. So while working to finish our task, it is I can say that it's much difficult compare from the normal experiences that mm -hmm. we experience during in face to face class because it is quite hard to communicate with others. It is quite difficult to acquire their information. And also, it is pretty hard to think different 21st century skills because most of the skills are already given based on lesson. Okay, that. Yeah, but I congratulate you for that. So thank you. Yeah, since this is the first time, I think, in the class to have the breakout session, right? Am I right, Sir Marwan? Okay, this is the first time. Okay, and you notice that at some point from time to time, there are members who got disconnected, right? Also, when it comes... Hello, ma'am. Yes? Hello, ma'am. Who, who is that? Can... Sorry. I'll just go out for a while. I'm going to take my lesson the order ma'am okay i'm eugene ma'am okay. yeah you sir eugene it's okay it's okay thank you for that so let me congratulations can we give clap reaction for group one okay thank you for that let me highlight okay, some prominent insights from group one yeah that there is a witty of you sir joshua to think yeah the flower diagram symbolizes that Definitely, you are the reasons, right? The learners bloom. So it's not only that you're holding all, right? I mean, students in general, but you're technically holding in unison all these skills. So it's not, you know, for, for you, you advise that all these skills must be interconnected to one another, right? Or overlapping at times. That is true, especially when you mentioned about multitasking skills. I appreciate that multitasking skills for you Right? Do not only limit the teacher from being tech savvy, but also thank you for remembering the roles of a 21st century teacher that you need to possess. So from, you know, a counselor to a teacher to a friend. So there are many roles that you, that we need to play at the same time. Yeah, organization skills, definitely they relate to Classroom management and time management skills, but you were able to discuss each, right, distinctively and research skills. Thank you for emphasizing also that there is a need really, right, to only present the relevant information, right, needed by your learners. And yeah, especially now that it's so hard to maybe still, right, teachers are still thriving to you know, set aside a personal life, especially they, they are just working from home. Classroom management skills, yeah, not only limited to the physical classroom, but even here. Okay, and thank you also for echoing the process, right, that even if you are in the virtual environment, it's still possible to collaborate with, right, with your classmates. And when I entered or when I joined, Right, a breakout session, even didn't realize I joined unless until I talked, right? But yeah, I appreciated that you unmuted yourself and but you feel free, right? You you have to feel free to communicate. Thank you and congratulations, group one. Now let's proceed to group two. Who are your percent? Oh, until okay, it's your name. Okay, they have these matrix. Anyone? Um, yes. uh, represent uh Jen Marwin, okay. Yes, and Ma'am, I'll, I'll, we will be presenting, Ma'am, with... Kasama ko po si JV. Okay. Okay. So, yan, dahil may interpretation yung design nila. <laughs> so, <laughs> let let me ano, interpret our design. Wow, di ba? Okay. Parang okay. simple, but it's just not... That, 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 ano, hindi lang siya simple. Meron siyang simbolismo. Alright. So, <laughs> so, yun. Um... Kung nakikita nyo sa, sa design namin, we, we decided na to use um, table mm -hmm. na, na rectang, or rectangular square siya and that represents classroom. Mm -hmm. And dyan nakapaloob yung mga um, uh, 21st century teaching skills. Kasi kung iisipin naman natin, we should have um, 
it should have be seen inside the classroom, right? Yung mga yung mga skills na dapat i-possess natin being a teacher. So yon. Um first first of all, yung yung media and the information literacy. Ngayon, um napag-usapan namin na kailangan syempre hindi lang uh, we should have be knowledgeable in terms of media and the information kasi um kuno observe niyo ah kuno observe niyo nung senior high madalas nating asarin yung mga teachers natin for being for not being able to ano to o- operate the power the projector di ba kasi yung mga laptops nila so nabubuli sila sa ganung paraan so syempre um, being at a professional teacher na rin so i we think that kailangan natin i-possess yung yung media yung, yung pagiging literate natin in terms of technology and nilagay namin sa subcategory dito na dito sa right side basic knowledge about technology and which media to be used and other software yan um syempre importante yon na kailangan alam natin kung ano yung mga basic na icons or kailangan pindutin yung kailangan i-edit or what para at least um makasabay tayo or makasabay tayo sa flow or sa doon sa ano ba to yung kaalaman ng ng estudyante natin para maging interesting na rin tayo mm-hmm. then being accessible and responsive um dahil sa, um base sa aming brainstorming pagiging accessible and responsive doon siya sa part ng yung responsive siya sa mga emails ganun sa mga messages um, being yung yung madali siyang ma-reach okay mm-hmm. So, we think na important ito kasi dapat um, kahit man lang sa, or kahit, lalo na ngayon sa online class, kailangan natin maging approachable, lalo na sa chat and sa mga email. Kaya na-appreciate ko din si Ma'am Early kasi this past, ano na, yung mga assessment natin, nag-message ako lagi kay Ma'am kahit pa ulit-ulit, tapos ina-elaborate ko talaga. And na-appreciate ko kasi sobrang, ang um, responsive ni Ma'am, tsaka sobrang friendly. Kung baga ganun, kailangan i-possess natin yung ganun, yung parang kay Ma'am Early nga na, yung pagiging friendly, tsaka yung pagiging accessible anytime talaga. So, yon Next is, so, so nagigits wait, naman. Wait, wait, wait lang, wait lang. Ano, tsaka, ano, we've also put the media and information literacy at the very top. Kasi po, we think that is the um, most defining advantage po ng mga 21st century teach- teachers that that's what sets them apart from for, for example the 20 20th century teaching uh, teachers that um 21st century teachers have more accessibility when it comes to technology lalo na po ngayon and i think that it is a advantage of teachers and that they should capitalize on that na Um, now that technology is widely available to everyone, I think that teachers have the um, the the right train po, for example, to um, to be knowledgeable about yung nga po, technology. Kasi nga po, syempre ngayon, for example, sa tingin ko po, medyo nawawala na, namamatay na rin po yung culture natin that we but that teachers are using manila paper or posters for for their teaching materials parang mas nauso na po ngayon yung powerpoint which is good rin po and for uh very practical kasi rin po it's not that time consuming it's not that labor consuming kasi po you're just um typing stuff and syempre mas ano rin po mas um Uh, relatable rin po for, for students kasi nga po they grew up in an environment where technology is part of their lives na po. So I think that teaching becomes more um, uh, interactive pag ganun po na students are seeing technology being integrated into teaching. So that's the that's why we put it on top. Okay. Next is organizational skills. Okay. So yun, um, uh... Yeah, yun nga, mas nilinaw ni JB na yung being, ano, yung pagiging adaptability natin bilang teacher. So, next is yung organization skills. And yung subcategory niya, 
yung under na nun ay yung time management, being organized and creative. Siyempre, um, kung, kung tayo yung magiging teacher, tapos hindi tayo, hindi tayo marunong mag-manage ng time, di ba? E di naganda, loko-loko na tayo, di na natin alam kung kung anong unahin natin. Hindi na, kumbaga, wala tayo sa ayos. Kumbaga, magiging magulo yung yung magiging sistema natin kapag tayo naging teacher. Mm-hmm. At saka, kaya importante yung magkaroon tayo ng time blocking. Ano ba, mm-hmm. yung from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., ito lang yung, ano, yung time mo para mag, mag-exercise or at ano, ano other stuff. Mm-hmm. Tapos yung other time, doon mo ilalaan yung pagkain, yung sa work, yung mm-hmm. mga ganyan. So, we should be, uh, we should know how to manage our time. Okay? So, mm-hmm. next, yung being organized. Ito, guilty ako dito kasi medyo magulo, mag- magulo yung gamit ko since, mm-hmm. since nung, uh, nung, nung college. Neto college lang na medyo magulo-gulo kasi Medyo nakakatamad ka mag-ayos. But recently, uh, dahil na din na-remind ako na kailangan maging organized ako, magiging teacher ako soon. So, mm-hmm. nagpusan ako na ayusin yung bag ko, itapon yung mga hindi ko nagamit, yung mga kento ganyan, na hindi naman na mapapakinabangan. So, importante yun dahil um, tinitignan tayo ng students natin. Eh. Kung gusto natin maging organized din sila, so maging organized din tayo. Right? So, Next yung yung pagiging creative, diyan po papasok yung ano yung yung kung paano natin, kung anong style yung ginagawa natin sa teaching. Mm-hmm. Kung paano natin kukunin yung interest nila, kung paano natin kukunin yung attention nila by making um, creative things. Tapos um uh, syempre nandoon pa rin yung content, mahalaga pa rin yung content. But being creative is more more interesting tsaka mas attention mas mako natin yung attention ng mga estudyante natin. Mm-hmm. Okay. So yun, JP may gusto ba yung dagdag? Um, I think it's also important to note that um, as teachers, we should also be resourceful. Mm-hmm. Uh, sa tingin ko po, um, nag-a-apply rin po yung word na resourceful now more than ever kasi nga po, um, there are more accessibility to, ano, to for teachers po, for kunwari, um, mas marami na po silang pwedeng pahana po for teaching kasi nga po ngayon is um, mar- marami na po silang pwedeng include whether it be yung technology uh, digital teaching po or yung tra- more traditional na teaching so mas marami na po silang choices and i think that being creative po as a teacher is a in, is, um, an interesting trait to have po when it comes to teacher because it makes the class more nga po, more fun, more interactive. And yun lang po. And yeah. Next is leadership oh, skills. Next is leaders, leadership skills. Siyempre, hindi lang basta tayo nagturo or nagsasalita or nagiging um, nagtatransfer ng knowledge. So, pagiging leadership then or pagiging leader in sa classroom, um, mahalaga natin i-possess yun dahil tayo yung tayo nga tinitignan na role model ng mga students natin. Mm-hmm. Dapat sa atin nagsisimula yung pagiging um, mabuting mamamayan or um, pagiging uh, critical sa mga bagay-bagay. So, nasa subcategory namin pag- yung facilitator, mentor, and good presenter. Facilitator, um, parang it shows that kailangan yung na-handle natin, na-facilitate natin ng maayos yung mga students natin. Na, na alimbawa, alimbawa nga yung sa mga activities mm-hmm. and sa mga pinapasagutan natin sa mga assessment, we should know how to facilitate them. Mm-hmm. We should know how to, um, yun, to facilitate nga. It is important kasi hindi, hindi nga lang tayo basta nagbabagsak o nagbabato ng ng mga activities sa kanila. And also, pagiging mentor, hindi lang tayo yung technical teacher na puro subject or knowledge lang. Siyempre, pagiging, um, nag, nagbibigay din tayo ng mga advices, nag, open din tayo sa life and other stops na pwede nilang matutunan sa atin. Kasi nga, after all, we are their role models. We are their, um, tayo yung tinitignan nila. Okay? And good presenter. Um, JV, can you explain the good presenter? 
Uh, for, uh, para ano lang po yan, for another word for a person that can take the initiative po when it, for um for when discussing a lesson po. Of course, um, equality that a teacher should have is a good presenter kasi nga po, siya yung mag introduce nung mga subjects and lesson and mm-hmm. normally parang hindi naman po, a, a teacher shouldn't expect the students to just um listen to a monotonous parang discussion po na for yeah, it gets uh, students for from my experience po mm-hmm. uh, yung as a student um I, I get easily parang distracted bored for example when a teacher just discuss mm-hmm. na in in a monotonous tone po na tapos wala man lang pong parang uh parang it, they're just discussing for the sake for the sake of discussion po and i think that gets really uh it's a parang hindi po siya fun pakinggan po and mm-hmm. i think that it is an important part that a lesson should be interesting kasi nga po we, we need to grab the students attention po so i think a good presenter is a, 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 a type of being a good leader na rin po kasi nga po mm-hmm. if you if you present uh, if you are a good presenter um yun nga po, you can arouse the interest you can arouse the discussion uh, mm-hmm. more fluent more fluidly and mm-hmm. yun nga po. so yan um Thank you, JV. So, um, elaborate ko lang konti kasi dito sa leadership skills kasi para sa akin sobrang importante nito. Kung baga, ito, yung, yung share ko lang din yung sagot ko before sa assessment, di ma'am. Uh, ang, para sa akin kasi ang leadership skills, hindi lang siya, or kung, kung baga, kung baga ang mga architects at saka yung mga engineers, sila yung bumubuo ng bahay. Tayo yung mga teachers, binubuo natin yung mga estudyante natin. Mm-hmm. And, kung, kung, kung mga uh, kung mga kung yung mga tatay nga natin nililid tayo into uh, good future into the better future tayo mga tayo mga teachers we lead our students to a great greater future and and such para kumbaga we make sure na uh, kumbaga secure secured na yung future nila so doon natin sila nililid syempre di naman natin sila nililid sa kasamaan di ba wala naman tayong tinuturo na masama So mm-hmm. that's the leadership skills. Next is the last one is uh, classroom management skills. It is important kasi um ang pangit naman kung nakatayo lang tayo, di ba? So kailangan maging uh, alam natin kung paano i-manage yung classroom. So the subcategory niya demonstrative skills. Um in other words, parang kailangan nag nag na mag kumbaga marunong tayong mag-present with clarity. Mm-hmm. with uh, yung straight to the point tayo mm-hmm. hindi yung alibawa yung masalita mm-hmm. and for sure marami na tayo na experience na ganyan di ba yung ang daming kwento imbis na yan lang ha. pero uh, kumbaga kailangan na doon na agad kumbaga straight to the point and um mm-hmm. may ma, yung marunong marunong pumili nung salita na mm-hmm. sasabihin sa mga student kasi nga kung ano siya sabi natin yun yung natatandaan nila kaya nga minsan may nabubuling teacher kasi kung ano ano yung masasabi, di ba? So, mm-hmm. yun. Next is collaborative. Um, mahalaga yung, ano, yung, yung, yung pagiging collaborative natin being a teacher kasi um, hindi, hindi lang isa, isa, gaya nga nung sa, ano, yung sa present, sa pinresent yung ma'am na le- learner-centered na hindi lang, hindi lang na tayo yung dapat magsalita. Kumbaga, we should collaborate with our students. We should know their uh, opinions, their knowledge about the topic na tinuturo natin. Kailangan may collaborative tayo. Kung baga, may makipag-collaborate tayo sa, kan- sa kanila para mas maging productive, para mas maging meaningful yung, yung pagtuturo natin. At saka at the same time, nalalaman natin yung side nila. Okay. Mm-hmm. So next, yung regulator. Um, base sa napag-usapan namin, ang regulator parang ano lang siya, Um, parang siya yung nag-regulate ng rules, regulations. Siya yung, nag, uh, siya yung peacemaker, tayo yung magiging peacemaker ng room. Kung baga hindi tayo nagsisimula ng gulo. Uh, hindi tayo yung pinagmumula ng away or ng ines ng galit sa mga estudyante natin. We should, we should be there um, 
ang peace maker we should be their advisor and tayo yung matagapigil tayo yung mag-aayos ng discipline tayo mag i-instill ng discipline sa kanila okay so yon next is involves key stakeholders um basis base na sa napag-usapan namin yung stakeholders dito tinutukoy namin yung mga parents mm-hmm. yung transparency natin bilang mga teachers sa mga magulang natin na for example at ano ba si mommy uh, Mami, uh, ito po, yung anak niyo po, bakit po mm-hmm. hindi po mapasok? Uh, mm-hmm. Concern lang po ako sa kanya dahil yung grades niya pababa ng pababa since mm-hmm. the last quarter. So, ganun siya. Yung, uh, lagi nating ini-involve yung mga parents ng ating students para at least uh, hindi lang umiikot sa dalawa. Kung baga, uh, tatlo, yun nga, yung parents umiikot sa atin mm-hmm. yung kalagayan ng student natin. So, mm-hmm. JV, may dadagdag ka ba? Um, ano rin? Uh, for uh, this is the last time rin po. I think it's important to note po na kung nagbabago rin po yung uh, envir- um, mm-hmm. the environment for teaching uh, and teachers as a whole rin po. Kung na 21st century teach- teachers, And meron din po siguro tayong 21st century students po. Uh, teachers should understand that um, students, nagbabago rin po yung parang mentality ng students as time goes by and hindi lang po iisa yung parang mentality. For example, um, yung mentality po ng students in our parents' time, hindi po yun yung same mentality that students have now. And I think that classroom management skills, kailangan rin po magbago. Um, to adapt rin po dun sa what type of students that we are teaching. Um, parang ano rin po, you can, see, you can tell a lot about a teacher about how he or she manages mm-hmm. their classroom po. And I think it says a lot about that teacher na kung paano niya po manage yung classroom niya, mm-hmm. ganun rin po. Parang you can tell the difference between a, yun nga po, quote-unquote, good teacher and a nga po, and a not-so-good teacher. And yun, yun po. I think that's okay. that's all that we have. Yeah, how about the process? Ayun. Ayun. The process, uh, remember? Any other member to to tell us how's the process of collaborating with your classmates, brainstorming, because uh, I heard that re- you really brainstorm even with how you define each, right? Any member from group two? One? Okay, Sir Marwin, uh, the process. Okay, sige po. Um, yes, Mama yeah. po. Ay, sige, Sir Marwin. You are? Yes. Abner po. I am Abner po. Okay, Sir, go. Um, During the process of doing the activity, I observed that um, upon doing the activity, we're already employing the skills needed in becoming, um, the sk- teaching skills needed in being a 21st century teacher. During that um process, We, are, we were able to exchange ideas, we were able to brainstorm, we were able to um, utilize the use of um, technology because as a 21st century educator or teacher, you really have to be um, come up, cope up with our digital era. So we have to be um, literate in terms of media. So we are using software that For us to be able to brainstorm and come up on idea to construct these kind of um, teaching skills. And one more thing that um, I were I was able to it nam the guide po. Um so during the process you were able to um, exchange ideas, you were able to um, see what are And see, I construct our own ideas about what should be possessed mm-hmm. in becoming a 21st century teacher. Mm-hmm. So, with that being said, we were able to manifest what a teacher should be mm-hmm. in to be able to become an effective um, teacher to their 21st century learners. Mm-hmm. So, with that, we were able to... Um, That would be all, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah, right? You, you learn a lot 
about <laughs> thank you for appreciating the process or Abner. Can we give clap or action for group two before I reiterate some highlights? Can we give them a clap or action? Okay, thank you for that. So let me right, reiterate some highlights from I, I like that you're able to pull it off as well by saying, yeah, this is a classroom, right? Four corners, but usually it goes beyond right the four corners of the room given that we are in the online environment. So allow me to highlight as well when you redefine being responsive of the teacher that it's not about it's not only about teachers being responsive to technology but being responsive literally to the inquiries of the learners and yeah thank you but don't be shy okay don't be shy to ask if there is need what clarification you mean send me pm right and thank you for being patient also right and don't feel sorry if you i think that sir marwin also kept on saying sorry of asking so many questions it's fine it's fine that's my job okay another i would like to not really correct but i would like to add okay because based on my experience okay i mean you know replacing writing on manila papers right and just doing all the presentation in my case i use canva instead of powerpoint to presentation I use PowerPoint because uh, Canva lags if it's on presenter mode okay. and at the same time uh, it's not I, I, I would yeah I would like to say based on my experience that it's also time-consuming <laughs> I can say that even though you're already familiar with all the features of a certain software in my way of preparation of my pres my presentation is very time-consuming I think like I a lot one day Right, for one to two presentations for two classes because it's not simply that you type well of course that's far basically but when it comes to thinking of what to include and what not to include and what to present and what not to present is really essential right to consider by a teacher so in this case if it's not important that i added that the background effect there there's no need right so in that case i can say it's also time but you're right, it's practical now, right? We don't need to buy, we don't need to, to write, we don't need to worry if we don't have what well, great penmanship because, you know, we have our customized font styles here. At the same time, let me highlight, yeah, that is correct also when it comes to being a good presenter. So I hope that you appreciate when you present in front of the class because that is part. I mean, being comfortable facing your students, not shaking in front of the class i don't know if i share that with you uh, can you tell can you give me a like or act if i told you about a student of mine who started shaking just by standing in front of the class can you give me a like or act if i told you the story <laughs> oh really okay so that was they were they were first year that time and now uh, i think yeah they already graduated but when she was a first year student and it's ah I, okay it, it's it was something to do with when i received the comment ma'am be smooth ka po kasi no yes that's meron po tapos oh, na na sorry. sabi niya na ikwento na po ay sorry okay. sorry maybe <laughs> he's not around so yeah so with that story right it's so important that when we present not only through our words not only through our gestures but it's also important that our vibe right our aura also becomes what a good presenter why because that creates the mood of the class and that really affect imagine just like what happened in the story right it really affected the mood not only of one particular student but of the entire class okay another yeah classroom management skills that's correct okay uh, by the way we only take one word for stakeholders so thank you for mentioning about the parents and yeah, uh, I agree when you mentioned that the parents before thought that you, you already know this and so on, but you need, they need to understand that, no, that's why they need you, right? Especially now, I've, I've heard, right? I mean, stories of parents having a hard time to deal with their children, especially at home, because they always assume, they even swear at, at the kids for not getting right the idea and then yeah they need to be more patient i just hope right they, they would realize that because not 
especially if you're not a teacher, right? And, you know, you are, your respect, of course, the authority of the parent as well. You, you, you just want the parent to realize it. You just want the, the parent to understand that this kid is a kid. You have to understand, right, the level of the kid. But again, we can't blame the parents, right? We can't blame them because it's so hard because that's supposed to be the task of the teacher and now they're doing it. So we also would like to appreciate the parents. And thank you, right? Thank you and congratulations to both groups for a very comprehensive, direct, right, and what emphatic style of presenting. Thank you. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Can you give clap react for everybody? Okay, right, right. Let me change my now. Okay, let me do change my screen. Yes, we go back to to our discussion so you've learned about the 21st century skills needed by the teacher also they are definitely connected to 21st century skills of your learners in the future and they need to meet halfway right they always need to meet halfway you shouldn't be what outdated okay that is part so as we continue we still have time okay uh let me Echo, right? This is the final report of Dr. Claire Scholar uh, from Australian Council for Educational Research. And it, it was already commissioned by UNICEF and the Department of Education Philippines. And this is so recent. This happened, and this report was published March 2020. And they realized the need to focus on supporting students to develop a broad set of competencies has been acknowledged globally. And that's why I appreciate that they conducted this, right? They, they even conducted this workshop with the teachers, with the core team, okay, to really realize and assess or analyze the skills, values, and attitudes that are integral to the life, right, of the 21st century learners as well as the teachers. So these, uh, the Philippines or our country has placed an educational emphasis on the holistically developed Filipino and I think it's not new to you, right? That's not new to you to hear the holistically developed Filipino. That means all skills are part there. All walks of life of the kid, right, must be, you know, guided, of course, with the help of a more knowledgeable other. May not be may not be a teacher or a, a parent or a friend or a peer. And this analysis of the twenty first century skills integration in the Philippines uh, was designed to support the Philippines identify a strategy for assessment, teaching, and learning of the 21st century skills. So even based on your observation, right, based on attending so many webinars, we have, right, developed at least, right, there's a big what uh, improvement in terms of our assessment, in terms of our teaching strategies, right, and this project aims uh, three things. They they aim to identify the best practices, imagine of the best practices on the use of classroom level teaching strategies that will definitely address the 21st century skills to support learning. Another aim is to build right, in country capacity to understand, identify, and observe the skills at classroom level because right, in, when, in terms of advancing to a different level, it, it needs different what. Uh, process of analysis and they also aim to develop a strategic roadmap so it's more of the vi a visual what, presentation right a representation and how are they going to build a capacity and how our depth ed agency and key stakeholders including community parents right how can they effectively engage with 21st century skills initiatives and this project particularly focuses on the skills of problem solving critical thinking and collaboration in English and science subjects across grades 4, 6, 8, and 10. But it is based upon a model designed for scaling horizontally and vertically. So as we continue, okay, this is their model. It is called ACERS Alignment Model for 21st okay, Century Integration. And the model presents three prerequisites and 10 key steps in integrating 21st 
century skills into an education system. So here at the center, we have curriculum and resourcing, assessment and reporting, teaching and learning. Sorry. So we will, okay, if we have more time, we will analyze each. So from emphasizing mission and vision statements, it's one, definitely, okay, of their aim. You need to set first the mission and vision that incorporates the 21st century skills. There is also a need to adapt or adopt skill development framework so literally it's O. so it's definitely just utilizing the existing frameworks right developed frameworks from other countries that's why we have now k-12 curriculum and we need to also establish a core technical team that is why we have our curricularists or curriculum designers and you teachers you are called curriculum implement implementers Okay, so first is emphasizing mission and vision statements. As you can see here, right, on their model, they have life and career skills and all the 21st century skills leading to what? To life, right, and decontextualized practice. Why? Because most of the time, that's the idea, right, to, to contextualize everything. But in this case, since it's decontextualized because it's more of transferring everything to life to actual life so why do they need to 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 listen uh, to listen to the teacher why do they need to speak english why do yeah why right so why is there a need to develop these skills so around it there's content content knowledge contextualized practice study and thinking strategies as early as first year uh right i assume you had this or hope, right? You had the study and thinking skills in, or that includes your reading or writing skills in senior high school, oral communication skills. So definitely these prerequisite courses also, right, for effective communication skills help you. At least prepare yourself. At least be but be comfortable, right, with the language or even with the subject content areas. Okay, and the major reform implemented by the Republic of the Philippines DepEd in 2013 included structural reforms. We had that curriculum revision from time to time. We do that. Even your curriculum now, we revised that we had this workshop on curriculum planning and designing and, you know, even the order of your courses uh, that are, you know, offered to first year to fourth year we organized everything we prioritized what's needed to realize now you know what before teaching the teaching profession course was offered to fourth year when i was in fourth year that was offered when i was in fourth year college but now it was offered to first year to second year college why the the notion there is for you future educators to realize at an early age at an early what year level Right. If this is merely your calling, right? So to set the mood, to set that. Why? Because when I was still teach, uh, when I was still studying a PUP, uh, I didn't. As I told you, like I realized it. I realized this calling third year. Imagine that, right? So there's a lot of wondering, right, and questioning about is this really where I should be? Okay. So we need, uh, yeah, they suggested that there is a need to emphasize what's the mission and vision statements okay so in this case the main visibility of k-12 has been the curricular changes uh, if you realize we already have the mother tongue based multilingual education delivery in the elementary years so that happens from kinder to grade three and then there will be a mother tongue transition program before they they are introduced to english language as mode of instruction because there are many researches that show positive results of young learners starting using their first language before they, they understand subject content areas using the second language or English. Okay, so that's one that's one example of curriculum revision and even now, right, the the depth ed requires teachers let me use the word require, yeah, requires uh, teachers to report specific content standards, specific learning competencies that students achieve. It's not simply about writing a narrative report of what you learn, what you finish, but it's really what's specific. It's direct. So if they need to to learn how 
how to write a position paper you need to write a position paper if there is a need to what to use competently and fluidly in a properly transitional devices in speech definitely that's the specific activity that students need to do okay and another okay so the philippines right drew on the framework and synthesized by partnerships right 21 uh this figure also illustrates the converging power of the sets of skills contained within the categories of information media and technical skills that that's what you mentioned earlier and learning and innovation skills and communication skills and these three sets of learnable these three of learnable right and teachable skills combined to equip right an individual or your students not only with the specific skills but with socialized personal values ethics and attitudes so even earlier you mentioned about yeah, being a mentor not only right, academically but a mentor for life after basic education after higher education as well and learning right, within the workforce life and career how will you how will you prepare yourself are you preparing yourself right to become just like what you said effective competent quality teacher in the future and one finding from this project is that teachers aren't generally familiar with the framework and the mission statements that's why they fail like let us use that sometimes they fail at achieving these performance and content standards right because of the of not being familiar with the framework and recommendations have been made to suggest further unpacking right and elaboration of the framework before strategic dissemination more broadly to our relevant stakeholders including parents teachers administration community even lo uh, local government units and the, right this recommendation was that uh, materials should be released via new visually appealing graphics so that's why earlier right it's more visually appealing that the violet uh, model okay uh, so it's already time so you may just go over this analysis there's also available pdf file of this final report and you'll realize that as we go let's proceed let me okay so there are reflections that they made of uh, these are also translated into recommendations afterward and they prioritize or they emphasize curriculum pedagogy and assessment how are you going to teach the learners the content and how are you going to assess them okay to make sure of the learning and of course it's important for the implementation let me show you their picture yeah this is the technical core team they imagine how will be for planning okay so you may go over this and as you notice this is familiar to you right can you give me like or act if this is familiar to you you see that yeah for those who have what check their curriculum guide you know these are communicative competence and multi literacies right for your learners so thank you you may go over this and they even have this percentage of content descriptions map to each scale so you may prioritize that part and this one also for the curriculum framework for monitoring okay and evaluation curriculum support system and being and becoming hope person this definitely these skills and learning areas definitely what address our vision of what holistically develop filipinos okay so these are i also have your sample teaching strategies specific activities that you may use inside a classroom or even virtually you just have to be creative and think of a more what relevant or useful software to facilitate small group discussion which is possible by breakout session you can also use games right, through gamification and other softwares like quizzes kahoot quizlet okay independent studies here as well researches and reports yeah reporting is useful however now it's not required that's why it's more of us doing this okay so you may go over the slides okay it will be uploaded there as we finished okay i will also ask for your sorry feedback here on the padlet i will just send it to our gc okay where the, the padded board is in this case it's now a different one okay it's now 
about filming yourself that you can because it's possible so aside from simply writing or typing right let me ask you to film you may just have to click that film button and then right away they show and tell me what you, you what reflected on our discussion okay so let's have our class picture again as we end thank you for joining us again today i pray for what good health for you and your well-being praying for healing for ram he's sick but he stayed thank you for staying okay one two three smile next slide one two three smile God bless you all and see you. If you have questions, you may send me PM or send a private comment in the Google Classroom activity. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. 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 Thank you, Mom.